Now, yesterday, Denzel Curry released a brand new song with a music video, and you already know I had to talk about this one. So, the song is called Cloud Cobain, and yes, once again, my mans did not disappoint. Suicidal doors, call it Kurt Cobain. So, leather seats like a bloody stain. I don't know if you hear it, but this really sounds like a brand new version of Denzel. Now, I'll talk a little bit more about the song itself in another video, but for now, let's talk about the music video, because this is where the interesting part is. So the music video actually has a very powerful message, and to understand it, of course, we have to analyze it a little bit deep, so let's get it popping. Now, the entire story is being played out in a circus, and Denzel himself plays as the performer and the clown. At the beginning of the video, we get introduced to a character that's pretty much gonna control a lot of the moves Denzel makes and it's this guy right here. This guy is the ringmaster who controls the artist's performance but also he's just a symbol for how an artist is being controlled in the music business by their label so he's the record executive and that's why during the music video's duration you'll see him try to adjust Denzel as he's performing. For example look at these two parts right here. Do you see this as Denzel is performing he's getting adjusted by the ringmaster because he's not quote-unquote acting right and look at how he's pulling out money out of Denzel's pocket as Denzel is saying these lines. Now, that right there represents exactly what artists in the music industry are seen as. They're seen as nothing but products because the higher-ups are assessing their every move so they can keep sucking money out of them, literally. And then the clown, aka the artist, is pretty much at the end of the day a means to an end. And that's why you have a big-ass audience cheering Denzel on as he's performing. The people and the media are getting something to look at, which is a clown who's acting a fool. And the people who control Denzel are getting what they want, which is the money, because he's getting the attention. Now, let's look at another key perspective of this music video. So the song is called Clout Cobain and the way I see the track playing into the actual music video is by thinking about the fact that Denzel is referring to Kurt Cobain on the track as a way to tell the world the mental state of my well-being as an artist can get so bad that I take the Kurt Cobain route and end my life because I'm not happy with my mental health due to the fact that I'm not truly doing exactly what I want on my terms. And that's the reason because I have an audience to please, I have a group of people who control me behind the scenes to please. I also have the media to please. I also have brands that are paying me money that I'm working with that I have to please. And ultimately, I have to please the entire world and put myself last. And then look at this right here. You see this right here? Even though Denzel is dancing like a crazy madman, there are still people in the audience who are not pleased, which further just showcases the true battles an artist on the forefront faces. And also, we can look at it from this perspective. Just like Denzel Curry is dancing like a crazy madman just to keep the attention of the people, that right there is a symbol of what rappers in hip hop do today. They do these crazy publicity stunts, they start beefs, they do all this crazy stuff just to keep your attention. And on one side, there's people who are entertaining the excuse my French, but the fuckery. And on the other side, there's other people who are not entertained by the BS, so they don't even pay attention to it, or if they do pay attention to it, they're not really giving the artist, aka the clown, the validation they need so they can keep going. By the way, if I sound a little bit different on different parts of the video, just know that I recorded this video on two different days just saying so you know but of course let's keep going and then look right here we have people from the audience who are following trends such as popping xanax getting face tattoos and sipping lean and the question i was asking myself here is uh, denzel doesn't do any of those things so what could this mean obviously this part could be seen more as a personal interpretation for the listener to decide what exactly they want to see so whatever artist popped into your head when you thought about face tattoos lean and xanax yeah you might might as well just imagine they're the one in the music video instead of Denzel. But here comes one of my most favorite parts. Look at this moment right here. Denzel Curry hops on Instagram live, flexes with a gun in his hand, and everyone in the crowd starts laughing extremely hard. And this time they're not laughing with him, they're laughing at him because he's acting like such a clown. And think about this, right here at this moment, the tables turned. The audience he was entertaining all this time who was rocking with him from the beginning are now ridiculing him. At this point he's been so drained out of energy because he's been an attention-seeking clown who's trying his best to please everyone and everything from the media to the fans to the higher-ups and now he's had enough and he finishes himself and since shit really hit the fan at this moment everyone freaks out and realizes that it's really not a game but it's real life this music video is pretty much talking about the constant battle of an artist who is in the limelight and the artist is trying their best to please everyone and at the end of the day they lose themselves to the point of literally 
ending their own life. And of course, the artist is constantly being scrutinized, they're being judged, they're being pulled to different directions all the time because they have to please the media and the media wants them to act a certain way. And then they have to please their own fans and then they have to please the record executives in the label who are controlling them. And at the end, the audience realizes that all the clowning this artist was doing caught up to their mental health and it broke them down. But of course, it was already too late since they already pulled the trigger. And to me, this dead body right here represents the regret. The regret of trying to please everybody but yourself and then you end up in a place where you shoot yourself to death because no one paid attention to the real problems. Nobody paid attention to what would happen if we don't wake up. And that's ultimately something the listener, you, have to ask yourself. Because if it gets to a point like this, then we've already lost. And yeah, that's the meaning of Clau Cobain by Denzel Curry.